Hey, what's up, everyone? Same time gaming here. Welcome back from the Division 2 uh, video here. We're at the PTS phase 2 right now, and pretty much this is it. You know, this is what's going to go live in the server. Uh, so whatever change we're going to see over here is more likely to make it to the final, and we won't, hopefully, will not see any more changes. If there is, well, I'll, you know, probably let you guys know. Uh, now, I'm going to actually show you the new stuff mostly, which is obviously the exotic gear and the weapon. I, I'm pretty much wearing all of that, uh, the weapons and exotic gear and the gear set and the brand set and everything. And we're also going to see uh, what they have done to some of the minor adjustment that they did to the gear like set bonuses uh, from the PTS phase one. So we will uh, take a look at that as well. But first of all, I want to see something, which is the armor kit. OK, at, at PTS phase one, we had the armor kit where, you know, we had like an instant armor kit. So we will heal like 25% of our armor. armor. Uh, so I want to see if they have done anything to that. So I'm going to damage myself here a little bit and just double tap to see how much we get our armor. Okay, so that's, I guess, pretty much the same. I think there is no change made over here. So I'm going to do it again. Uh, yeah, that's like 25% of our armor getting, uh, you know, healed back instantly. And we have a five second cooldown. So there is uh, literally no change uh, made over there. Now, a couple of more things that I want to check, which is the uh, obliterate. I think it's still the same. Uh, obliterate is same as PTS phase one, which is, you know, now we have the extra duration, which is the 10 second. Previous thing that live server currently right now, we have five seconds. So they increased the duration by five more. So we'll have more time to, uh, you know, keep the obliterate buff active. Now, one thing they did adjust it is intimidate a little bit. So you, previously in PTS phase one, I believe it was 5% weapon damage, uh, but now it's 4%. Uh, so they reduced it by 1%. And the stack is 9 for the normal version. And for perfect uh, Intimidate, I believe the stack is 10 here, as you can see. And the weapon damage is still, again, 4 stacks. I mean, 4 weapon damage uh, each stack. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, the Intimidate just got a little bit adjusted. Now, let's take a look at the new, actually, the new gear set. I mean, sorry, brand set. Uh, I'm actually using the um, uh, named chest piece, which is the Combustor. And it gives you 10% of armor on kill for the first piece set bonus. So can come in really handy for you know armor and kill builds so you can just use one piece of it you have the 60 percent health for the second piece and one uh, plus one skills here for the third piece uh, set bonus i don't know what's with the health on this update like i see a lot of gear like a lot of brands with a lot of health like you think 60 percent is more nah trust me when i'm gonna uh, show you the uh brand set bonuses adjusted you'll see there's something like 75 something is like 90 percent. It's, it's crazy okay with all the health and now this one comes with a beautiful talent. I actually like this talent. It's kind of funny. Uh, called the perfectly explosive delivery. So whenever you throw a skill, uh, after 1.5 second of throwing that skill, I mean, when you land that skill, basically, uh, on an enemy, it's going to, like, do an explosion damage to the enemies. All the enemies within 5 meters. And it's going to constantly explode every 5 seconds. So every 5 seconds is going to keep on doing that. And it will scale the damage, like the explosion damage, will scale upon how many uh, skills here you have. So it's... Kind of nice. It's actually pretty funny. I'm going to show you something. Oh, watch this. Hold it. So I have a decoy here. Uh, oh, they're dead. Hold up. Uh, so I got a decoy here. I'm going to throw the decoy like in the middle over there. And you'll see they're just going to constantly explode with just the decoy. Uh, it only works on skill that, uh, you know, you throw. Like a throwable skill. Like a, uh, you know, decoy, for example, obviously. Uh, Seeker Mines and and uh, like maybe Turret and, and Drone maybe as well. I'm not sure about the drones though. I was thinking about, you know, just using a recon drone. But you can see that every five seconds the explosion is happening. Uh, something like shield will not work because you don't throw a shield. Uh, so any skill that you can throw it will work. So it was nice. Now you saw the shock uh, that was applying on the enemies. I mean the targets over there. That's nothing to do with the chest piece, but definitely with the backpack, which is the named backpack, obviously, for this brand set. Uh, proxy, that's what it's called, I guess. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so it comes with a perfectly tamper-proof talent. So enemies within uh, your three meters of your hive, turret, remote pulse, or decoy will get shocked. So that's why the shock effect, you saw that. We do have tamper-proof talent uh, in the game. It's just a perfect version of that. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's that. All right, now let's take a look at the new gear set that came out, like uh, the Aegis. It's called the new gear set. I'm wearing the four pieces, so let's take a look. We got the two piece set bonus, which is 70% uh, of health. I mean, I told you guys there's a lot of health uh, in this update. We got 3%, uh, I mean, sorry, three piece set bonus is 15% of total armor, which is nice. And the four piece uh, set bonus, obviously, you know, gives you the talent called Stoic. Stoic? Oik? Yeah, something like that. So it does give you 3% of damage resistance for every enemy that is targeting you. So it's pretty much like a tank, uh, you know, gear set. So you go out there, enemies are shooting at you, you get more resistance. So every enemy that is shooting at you and targeting you, you get 3% resistance. Uh, and 
like for example, there's 10 enemies targeting you, you have 30% resistance, which is nice. And if you have elites and you're using protection from elite, you you're, you're going to be pretty much fine. Now that's just the first half of the talent. Uh, the second half of the talent tells you that the bonus is multiplied by one point. There's a point, right? Yeah, one point X, where the X is the number of group. Uh, I mean, agents in your group. So if you're like in a four man team, I guess it's gonna count like one point three or something like that. Um, I mean, that's pretty much what I'm thinking. If you're in a raid and you're wearing this, you, it's gonna be one point seven, uh, unless it counts you. So it will be one point four in group and one point eight in uh, you know, raids. I guess. I mean, I could be wrong. I mean, uh, yeah, but. Uh, if, even if you just take a look at just that 3% damage resistance, uh, it's not bad. It's uh, pretty tanky. I mean, uh, I guess after using this gear, so you won't use a shield because, you know, you are a shield now. Now, for the chess beast talent, we have this uh, where enemy is going to target your decoy. I uh, will also going to count as that resistance, uh, you know, damage resistance bonus, which is nice. So if you throw a decoy, uh, they're shooting at the decoy and it counts. Uh, so I guess if uh, both of you getting shot, like you and your decoy, you'll get even more resistance, kind of like on the paper. That's what it feels like. Now, for the backpack, we do have another talent here, which is uh, uh, going to increase the damage resistance from 3 to 4%. This is actually a mistake. I, I just saw it on the PTS patch notes. Uh, this is showing 1%. It's like a, a downgrade. Uh, it's like a nerf. No, it's not. It's, it's a 4%, actually. So if you wear the backpack, you have even more resistance. So, you know, that's uh, not bad. It's a good gear set. Now, our first exotic item is the uh, exotic gloves here. It actually looks pretty cool. Uh, called the Rugged Gauntlets. Uh, it actually comes with the weapon damage, crit chance, and crit damage, which is good. You know, uh, always nice to have these attributes. Uh, this comes with a talent called Iron Grip. At first, when I take a look, I thought it's going to be for everything, but it's not. It's a, it's a reduction on your recall, uh, like 50% recall penalty, minus 50%, sorry, uh, when hip firing. So if you can hip fire, it'll actually going to hit your targets rather than missing. So, uh, you know, your recoil is getting adjusted over there, as well as blind firing from cover uh so if you get surrounded like legendary mission or something and you're in cover and blind fire you're actually going to hit something uh, if you wear this uh gloves there so that's pretty much it like i thought it's going to be minus 50 percent penalty for like i mean recall penalty for everything so even if you're just not in cover or blind firing or hip firing is just normally shooting it'll reduce the recoil that'll be helpful for a lot of like semi-automatic rifles and stuff uh, but i guess not it's just for you know, hip fire and uh, blind fire. So yeah. All right. As for our next exotic is the uh, you know the exotic rifle, the new exotic rifle called Vindicta. Uh, it actually you know just a semi-automatic rifle with the 380 round here with the 25 mag, and the talent is uh, Otri's assault interface. Which while scoped, the weapon will highlight a random body section of each enemy, and the weapon will deal like 75% uh, extra weapon damage to that highlighted body section, and that's pretty much what it does. Uh, it's Kind of reminds me of Achilles Pulse in a way, but uh, but yeah, that's what it does. Like, it's not gonna buff anyone else's damage, I believe. It's just this weapon. So, if you're scoping, you'll see highlighted locations on the body of the enemies. You shoot that area, you get more damage. Now, we do have uh, some accuracy here, stability, and optimal range, as, as well as five extra rounds. So, no crits on this. So, building with this will be a little bit tough. So, you don't have any crit chance or crit damage on the mods. Uh, but yeah, it's a new exotic rifle there. All right, the next exotic uh, weapon we have is this uh, pistol. Kind of looks nice, actually, with the skin. Uh, it's called Mosquito. Yeah, it literally called Mosquito. It's actually a 350 RPM weapon with a 15-round mag. And uh, we have the talent called Mosquito Song. And this is kind of interesting. I find it very interesting. I need to test this further on a group gameplay uh, to see how this actually works. But what I can think of right now with the synergy that it worked with the new gear set, I'll tell you why, why, why I said that. So, first of all, the talent says that hitting an enemy applies a stack, and stacks are shared between players. At 10 stacks, the enemy will forcefully target the last player to apply a stack for 5 seconds. Means you can force an enemy to target you and you only, if you want to, for 5 seconds. So, if you can do that, then the new gear set that is, you know, gives you more resistance from getting shot, uh, kind of works, right? Uh, now, once you activate the stacks, like the effect, It'll, it'll remove the stacks from other enemies and the stacks deplete every five seconds. So you got to keep like pew pew shooting and building up the stacks and, uh, you know, it's shared between players. So uh, we got the 15% reload and 15% accuracy on it. So, yeah. Now we do have a new talent and a couple of named weapon as well. Now with this, we're actually totally becoming an uh, MMO game. Like, let me tell you why. So the new uh, named weapon here is the uh, sniper, which is the M700 Carbon Sniper. 
uh, but the name is Brutus for the named uh, weapon, obviously. And the talent is perfectly behind you. So deal 60% weapon damage to enemies that are not targeting you. And you see where the synergy is going, right? If someone is wearing a gear set, the, uh, that, the new one, and then you have like a pistol and you're basically taking all the aggros from the enemies and your DPS guys are using this talent, they're doing, you know, 60% weapon damage. But that's just the name talent though. Uh, you, we do get the non-name version of this talent, which will do 40% weapon damage. Now, I was kind of hoping 45 to 50-ish, but uh, yeah, the non-name version is 40%, and I think you can apply it on any weapon. Like, you know, mostly you're probably going to use it on a soul rifle and stuff. So if somebody is using that gear set and becoming a tank, a genuine tank, where everybody's ag aggroing the tank, because we had tank builds, regen builds, foundry bulwark and all that, but we can never take enemies aggro onto the tank. So now we have an option, a way to do that. So if a tank gets all the aggros, the DPS can, you know, do more damage. And this talent will work really well, especially with the non-named, which is 40% weapon damage. So, yeah, that, like I said, kind of MMO territory. We have, like, one tank, one healer, two DPS, you know, going in a dungeons, come, something like that. We do have the uh, rifle here, which is Whisper, the semi-automatic rifle. Uh, it comes with the same talent perfectly behind you. Uh, again, 60% weapon damage. So, yeah, it's pretty interesting i i kind of like it i kind of really like it i mean you could also kind of work with the talent if you're using a decoy you know, when you're solo so decoy takes the aggro you still proc the talent i believe so yeah that's not bad uh this is this is good i like it all right now let's talk about some of the quality of life changes so first of all the tinkering station which is available right in your inventory so you don't have to like uh fast travel to the white house uh you know to recalibrate and optimize and all that stuff you could do it I guess anywhere you want. So you can see there's the option, you can press the button, it opens up the library tinkering and expertise. So library is basically where, you know, you put all your weapons, uh, you know, talents and attributes, you, you know, you maximize your damage, you know, your weapon damage, damage to armor, headshot damage, all that stuff. Uh, it's pretty much, uh, you know, you do that in your talents and stuff, you, uh, you do that. Now for the tinkering, it actually contains both the recalibration station as well as the optimization station. So if you can see, I go to the assault rifles here, and if I select one of the weapons right now, uh, you can see I can just, uh, you know, select to recalibrate the stat if I want to, uh, like transfer it to max it out, or I can just optimize it right from here as well, like optimize uh, if you have the materials tell you what you need. Uh, so you could do that as well. So both optimization station and recalibration will work inside tinkering. Now for the expertise, obviously, you know, expertise is the expertise system where you can just donate and, uh, you know, level up your stuff. Like, if you don't have materials, I mean, sorry, if you don't have uh, weapons and stuff, you can just donate your materials from right here, and you can see you're leveling up your expertise. So it's kind of nice. It's pretty cool. Now, one more improvement they did was uh, with the projects, the daily and the weekly projects. So every time you do a daily project, you get one exotic components now, as uh, well as when you do a weekly project, you get three exotic components. I mean, these exotic components are very uh, important when you're doing, like, a... Uh, a later stage of expertise, you know, higher rank expertise thing. When you're leveling it up, you need exotic components. So, you know, this is the way you can get them pretty quickly as well, which is, which is nice. All right, time for some weapon balancing changes. Okay, so let's see what are the difference between PDS Phase 1 and PDS Phase 2. Obviously, all exotic third attributes will be changed now. You can change, you can easily add damage to target out of cover on every single exotic you own if you want to. Carbine 7, Storm and LMG will drop with different talents, which is nice. They always drop with the same talent. It was so hard to farm a better one. The Carbine 7 is my favorite assault rifle in the game, by the way. Now, assault rifles, uh, let's see what do we have here. Uh, ACR, ACRE, 10% uh, weapon damage. AK, um, and all the AK variants, basically, 8% weapon damage. Uh, AUG, Invisible Hand, Big Horn, uh, getting 10% weapon damage. Uh, CTAR 21, Rail Spitter, 10%. Oh, no, so 10 max size, just 10 max size, okay. Uh, F2000, and all the variants, including Shield Sprinter, which is a Hunter exclusive. Get it, get it, come on. Uh, 50 RPM and 10 mag size there. Follow assault rifle and all the variants, 5% weapon damage. This thing needs, like, not weapon damage, but this probably needs uh, more mag size, you know? Uh, now, military uh, G36 and all the variants are getting 50 RPM boost. Honey Badger, Savage Wolverine, 5 mag size. Uh, MK16 and all the variants, 10% weapon damage. Military uh, P416 and all the variants, including Eagle Bearer, getting 50 RPM there. Uh, PDR, Test Subject, Capacitor. 10% uh, weapon damage. Now for the LMGs, now previously in PDS Phase 1, they just did a lazy work where they said every LMG is going to get 20% weapon damage, except I think, uh, uh, what was that, Iron Lung? But now it's kind of same, they just 
I added another LMG with 10%, which is the blue screen 10%, and iron lung 10%, everything else is 20 So, yeah, they could just said every LMG is getting 20% boost except blue screen and iron lung. And instead of adding this thing, you know, it's, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so SMGs, we got AUG A3, and all the AUG variants are getting 10% weapon damage and 25 RPM. Uh, Banshee, Grudge, 5% weapon damage, 50 RPM there. MP5 and all the variants getting 6 max size. Uh, MP7 uh, swap chain getting 5% weapon damage and 50 RPM there. Uh, uh, T821 and all the variants are getting 10% uh, weapon damage. Converted SMG9 and all the variants are getting 50 RPM. A Tommy gun uh, and ground grade, all that getting 10% weapon damage. UMP45 and all the variants getting 10% weapon damage. So that's all the SMGs there. For the rifles, ACRSS, 10% weapon damage. Ruthless, Merciless, 10% weapon damage. This thing needs weapon handling. The Merciless, man, seriously. Uh, UIC 15 mods 2, 30% weapon damage. Okay. Uh, uh, M16 and all the variants, including the Whisper, which is the new named uh, weapon, the, uh, the rifle, also getting 30% weapon damage. Uh, MDR and all the variants, including the new exotic uh, rifle, is also getting 10% weapon damage and 20 RPM. Uh, military MK17 and all the variants, including Everlasting Gaze, getting 25% weapon damage. Uh, Sig 716 and all the variants getting 25% Weapon damage. Ravenous, 10%. I think it was 25 or 30 in the previous phase one, but they're doing it 10% now. So, yeah, it's uh, sad, but eh, whatever. Uh, UIC 0.45 and all the variants is 10% weapon damage. Uh, Harmony uh, uh, MK47 and all that is 20% uh, weapon damage. Now, for the Maximum Rifles, uh, M700 Carbon and all the variants, including the new named uh, Brutus uh, Maximum Rifle there, getting 17% weapon damage and 8 optimal range. 17 is kind of felt weird. Like, make it 20, 15, uh, something. Like 17 is kind of awkward for me. Anyway, so uh, Model 700 and all the variants is getting 25% weapon damage and 8 optimal range. Uh, the Covert uh, SRS and all the variants, 30% weapon damage. Mantis is 15% weapon damage. I mean, they said they kind of they want to nerf Mantis for some reason. I, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Anyway, so SR1, Maximum Rifle, and all his variant, 30% weapon damage. Uh, Paratrooper SVD and all the variants are getting 15% weapon damage. Uh, Scapel and all the variant is 20 RPM and 8 optimal range. So that's all the weapons. All right. Now, as for the uh, brand set bonuses, well, there's a lot of changes. So if I want to show everything, it's going to take a while and the video is getting longer. I don't want that. Uh, I will let it play here and you guys can uh, pause the video and take a look at all the changes if you want to. Uh, or click the link on the PDS and see for by yourself. Uh, but I do want to talk about some of the, uh, you know, stuff that I find it interesting or funny at the same time. For example, electric. 3 uh, piece set bonus, we have 30% SMG damage there. So if you want to get that 30% SMG damage, you want to use 3 piece of electric, uh, you know, brand set. They really want us to use 3 piece uh, set bonuses for every gear because they're giving us that 3 piece set bonus very high. So it's kind of baiting you to kind of use that. If you want that extra bit of uh, bonus, you want to use 3 piece of that set, you know. Uh, that's what they're telling us. Like Murakami, for example, over here, it's actually pretty good now. Like you can use this. If you don't use uh, Empress International, you don't have it. Murakami is great substitute. Like it's basically has the same. Three piece Empress, 20% skill damage in total with that efficiency there as well. And uh, three piece Murakami also 20% skill damage there. You have 30% repair skill. So yeah, Murakami is totally viable on skill build. Uh, Hana, you also got a little bit buff there. So yeah, you could definitely use it. Now, one more thing here with the region department, which is the Gilligard. So currently we have 1% armor region for 3Ps. Now we're going to get 2% armor region there. Previous phase 1 had 3%, so they reduced it by 1%. Golden gear 2Ps is giving us now 1.5. PDS phase 1 was 2%, I believe. So 0.5% kind of nerf there, but it's okay. It's still obviously better than what we have right now, so I'll take it. Now look at that health. 60% health for Gilligard. Like they're really pushing that health, man. Like they want us to get more health for some reason. Like the, they're telling us we're not healthy enough. You know, we need more health. You know, like, look at this thing. Sheshka. What the health? 90%. 90% three-piece <laughs> bonus. Like, I, I would like to make a 2 million plus health build now and see what happens. You know, I, I want to make something meme uh, build like that. Like, this is going to be hilarious. This is what I find very funny. Like, there's a lot of health happening here, okay? Uh, we have all kinds of health. Like, 60%, 75 90 like, it. There's a lot of health, okay? So stay healthy, guys. That's what uh, they're telling us. Like, stay healthy. Build health, okay? Do that. Uh, so yeah, that, that's what I'm going to do. I will, I will test out the pistol, the mosquito pistol on group, 
Uh, I want to see how it works. I also want to test out the gear set and see uh, how much damage resistance it actually is on uh, legendary missions and stuff like that. So obviously I'll do that. I really don't have anybody to play in the PTS right now. So I'll try to grab a friend somewhere and I'll do that and see what happens. I, I'm not going to make any builds on the PTS. I usually do. This is kind of finalized, so it's okay to make a build, but I won't do it. I'll wait for it to go live. I want to enjoy there. And uh, do let me know your thoughts in the comment section on what you feel about all these changes. Uh, I feel it's nice. It's nice to have so much variety now to use it and try some things here and there. Uh, the gear set and the mix and match, maybe use a ninja, you know, one piece set, bonus, two piece or something like that. It'll be nice to see. I don't like the gear lock system, uh, which, uh, you know, will take some time to get used to. Uh, but I don't know. It is what it is for now. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Uh, you know, hit the like if you want, subscribe if you want as well, you know, because... Uh, I will make some crazy builds, man. <laughs> Seriously. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next one. Till then.